Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to play Cripple Creek. Part A and Part B is what you have to learn to play it. So Part A sounds like this. Then you play it twice. Then you play Part B twice. Then you come back a couple of times. Part B sounds like this. We already said it is played twice too. So when you play it, you stitch them together and it sounds something like this. multiple times and I'm not an expert doesn't sound the best but it sounds it sounds better than when I was first trying it. it didn't sound like it so the first the first part which is part a you play with the slide it's a pinch slide so as you look here what I'm doing is I'm just pinching right here and sliding up to the fifth fret. And down here, I'm just pinching. So you just do a slide, that's all the sound is. And then you make a C. Or you don't make a C yet, but you need to know the C chord for this. You hit right here. Then you make a C. string, pinch, slide, pull off, hammer, which I haven't showed you yet, it sounds like this. And that's how the first part's played. And then the second part is a bunch of slides, which sounds like this three times and then it changes a little bit it's hard to explain so I'm gonna play it for you and then I'm gonna explain how to do that so the end is like the end of part A which sounds but the beginning is a little different. Instead of a slide, you have the slide, or instead of a slide from from two to five, you have a slide that goes from the third string that goes two to three, third fret to the, or second fret to the third fret, and then it's just the same mixed roll. So it sounds like this. Repeat that one more time. So, and then you hit the fourth string, pinch, slide, pull off, then hammer, middle string, and then a pinch. So then you play that twice, and it sounds like this. So now to sum it up, I'll play the song for you one more time, slowly, and then you can figure out how it's played, and hopefully you have a good time with it, and you'll be able to learn. So, here we go.
how many times you feel like doing it, but it's usually at least played twice. So you do, you do that, you do part A twice, part B twice, part A twice, part B twice, as many times as you really want to, but it just depends on how you, how good you are at it and how far you can go. If you can go a long time, then it's best to do it like four times. It doesn't really matter how long you do it, as long as you hit the notes right. And at first it'll seem like, oh, this is really hard and stuff to do. Cause then you're like, it's like, oh, how do I make that move? But just to recap, the slide goes like this. The pull off is just, you press, you hit the middle, you pluck the middle string and then you pull and let it go. And the hammer, is you play the fifth or the fourth string and then you just hit it like a hammer so i hope that makes sense the slide is like this pull off hammer thanks for watching Please subscribe, like, and comment. If you have any questions, let me know, and maybe I hope I can help you. Thanks. Bye.